Hey everyone and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. Today we are going to be putting this lovely specimen of a log onto the mill to cut into slabs and I just cannot wait to see what the finished product looks like. So I'm go going to go ahead and jump up onto the loader and bring it over to the other side of the log deck. It is pretty short so um, as you can see it's not it doesn't really fit on this side so we might have kind of a struggle to get it onto the mill, um, mill arms but wish us luck and let's get into the video. All right, and here it is. It just barely fits on the deck, but this deck is a little bit more narrow than the one over there, so it did fit. The trick is going to be trying to roll it on, keeping both ends still on, because it is kind of, I don't know, barely on there. But it's, I tried to get it as close to the arms as possible without hitting the roof, of course, which is kind of sketchy when running this uh, log loader here. So as far as the actual log goes, it is slightly uh, bananaed, not terrible, but it is slight. So as far as cutting slabs, what I like to do is to turn it so um, the curve is like that on the mill so that when I cut it, there is actually a little bit of a banana in the uh, uh, in the slabs because that can make for some really nice um, furniture like tables and stuff we actually have a <laughs> table that my dad made and we actually call it the banana table because it has a little bit of a curve to it and it's just so pretty I think it's ac actually out of walnut or something but that's what we're going to do with this one and it's very large around so these are going to be absolutely beautiful slabs coming off so let's roll this sucker on and cut into it
All right, and we are all finished cutting this log. And I know Jade is going to hate me for this because she just stacked this nice and beautiful. But I really want to show you guys some of those center slabs because, man, they are just masterpieces. I am very pleased with how these turned out. I mean, the grain formation is absolutely beautiful and as well as the color here, I'm just trying to get all the sawdust off so you guys can see it a little better. And just so you guys can get a little bit of an idea about how large these are. I mean, it's, I mean, these are pretty decent sized slabs. Uh, coming in at 19 inches on this one, this is kind of in the center, but I don't know if it's the widest point. If you guys liked this video, make sure that you tune in for tomorrow's because we're going to be cutting some curly and flaming maple tomorrow. So we're excited. And if you guys are interested, make sure you tune in. But that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. You can also follow us on Instagram at Lumber Capital Log Yard. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time.